So I worked nights um, in a supermarket warehouse, market basket for those of you who live in New England, you know what that is. So anyway, a few days ago, um, one of the guys was pulling out a shipment of flowers and uh, found uh, this little dude hanging in there. Uh, this is a brown and knoll. Um, they're super, super common. You can you can buy them at just about any pet store for you know under ten bucks. Um, but uh, so they they uh, they grabbed it and they uh, stuck it in a Gatorade bottle um, with a, a couple of pieces of strawberry. God bless them. They're they're insectivores, but you know hey, they a for effort, right? Um, and uh, the uh, the guy that was supposed to give it to me um, forgot and. He ended up spending two days in this guy's car. Now, I mean, this is Massachusetts, and uh, it, it, it got down below freezing. Um, and uh, so the fact that this thing managed to survive, um, I, I was actually very, very surprised. So they gave them to me, because they know I'm, I'm a reptile guy. And um, so uh, I've got him in this uh, quarantine situation. See if I can... Spin him around here so you can get a little bit of a better look. Um, so that's the reason why everything in here is just kind of, well, you know, boring and sterile. Um, I just got a, a, a paper towel roll that I cut in half, a little egg crate. I've got him on uh, some paper towels and uh, I've got two clear containers, one for his water one, I've got a few mealworms, and I also threw him a few crickets that he gobbled up, so that was good to see. Um, this is really, really important, guys. Uh, if you ever get a uh, an animal and uh, you're unsure about, uh, you know, the the health of that animal, you uh, you want to make sure that you don't put them in with your other pets. Um, you want them to you want to quarantine them. I'm gonna keep them this way for about a week. Um, and uh, you know, the other thing about keeping him on paper towels like this is that, you know, if he does have any parasites or anything and they fall off, I'm going to be able to see him on the paper towel. Uh, where if I had like soil down there or any other sort of substrate, I wouldn't be able to see it. So um, once I find out he's healthy, what am I going to do with him? <laughs> I really don't know. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to breed him. Um, you know, he's, um, you know, I mean, he's, he's a cool little guy, but you know, they're, they're pretty common. Um, you know, they're all over the place. As a matter of fact, they've, uh, because of the pet trade, they've pretty much infiltrated everywhere in, in North America where they can survive a little bit too cold here though. Um, I've got about, uh, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different things that would love to munch on him. <laughs> so, but I don't, I don't have the heart to do that. So honestly, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with them. Um, yeah, there we go. See him in there. So, you know, step one is to uh, find out, make sure that he's healthy, I should say. And uh, after that, we'll uh, see what I'm going to do with him. Maybe I'll I'll put him in a nice little container and try to rehome him or see if I can uh, surrender him to a pet store or uh, some such thing. Uh, but anyway, uh, just wanted to, you know, show this little guy to you and, and, uh, you know, see what you guys think of them. Um, still working on, you know, getting the rest of my stuff up to snuff. You can see I've got, here are all my enclosures. Um, and I've got a few more in my bedroom. So, uh, you know, things are looking pretty good here at Gecko Epic. Um, no babies yet, but hopefully soon. And, uh, you know, I'll keep sharing my guys with you. So I um, hope you guys have a great day and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.